Good morning, Facebook friends. It's Cars and Coffee Dave here. We are at yet another Nashville Cars and Coffee, and uh, it's a beautiful day here. Welcome to the AAA live stream. We're taking a look at an LT4 out of a ZL1. Great looking car from Wholesale Inc. And uh, just, oh, I'll go. hello. What is going on there at that camera? There we go. So we were fighting the little lens flare effect there. But like I said, welcome to the uh, AAA live stream. Got an LT4 for you. Got a bunch of cool cars from all of our vendors here today. It's a nice morning. It's a little brisk out. The uh, north side of town was absolutely covered in a fog blanket. A flog, uh, flog, <laughs> excuse me. I uh, had to jump out of the way of that ZL1. ZL1s are becoming increasingly popular lately and uh, you can throw a rock and hit one every now and then. So, as I was saying, yeah, north side of town, covered in fog. It's not too late. Uh, if you guys are just now waking up and joining us on the AAA live stream, uh, you can still make it down here. I believe it's about 55 degrees right now. We're war warming up to a high of 64. So, uh, it's going to be a nice day ov overall when it's all said and done. Oh, man, that's twice now. Too electric, too quiet. So, yeah, I didn't even hear that guy behind me. But uh, that's a common problem with electric cars. Always slinking around, not knowing what they're doing, where they're going. Gonna do things a little differently today. And that's thanks to our friends at Heavenly Customs. You're looking at two of their creations right here in front of us. That's Jeremy there, smiling in the middle. What up, Jeremy? Hey. So uh, these guys make custom golf carts. And when I say golf cart, I mean street legal, uh, including a VIN number, headlights, seat belts, blinkers, 1200 watt sound systems, everything that you would absolutely possibly need in a vehicle, you get in a golf cart. So uh, Jeremy, hey. how are you doing today? I'm doing great, how are you doing Coffee Dave? Uh, I'm doing good, thank you sir. Um, I wanted to uh, ask you, so what exactly do you do with these things? Now you have, I believe, 17 different models to choose from? We have 17 different models that we offer. What, we, what it is, these are Olympus. Now, uh, we're Tennessee's exclusive dealer for these golf carts. We take a brand new uh, golf cart and we customize it to your personality or to your needs. Anything you pretty much need or think of, we can kind of make it happen for you. So on this one, you can see we uh, hit it up with the Tennessee Balls uh, theme on it. Because of it being orange, we just kind of had to do it. It was screaming Tennessee Balls. <laughs> we added in, like you said, the 1200 watt Bluetooth stereo. So we've got speakers here. Yep, four speakers. We've got speakers up here. And uh, Jeremy gave me half volume earlier, and, and half volume was party status. It was, de yeah, definitely so, party status. So this thing will, <laughs> will make some noise uh, in your community or on the golf course. Whichever, sure. whichever one you want to annoy more. Exactly. Um, now, what is this right here? All right, so that's the remote to the, our underglow lighting. You can kind of see it reflecting off my hand. And what we have here, I have the whole underside of this lit up as nice. well as the floorboards. So we got the left and the right. We can change uh, 16 different colors, three different light patterns. We can change the speed of the light pattern as well. Awesome. So that's another fun thing, especially if you're driving around the neighborhood at night. Now these are all electric. Yes, all electric. They get 50 miles to a charge. 50 miles to charge. If you get a solar option, you get 70 miles to a you charge. You got it. Will you crack this open so people can yeah. get a look at, at these, these batteries that are all here? So there's a lot of batteries in here. Another thing I want to point out on this is that he's got a winch here. <laughs> so I don't see a lot of golf carts, much less uh, winches on golf carts, but that's that's notable to me. Also, if you notice, the suspension was uh, pretty aggressive, pretty technical for a Very golf cart, you yeah. know? Double uh, wishbone, A arms, and then coil over just the shocks. So here we have, <laughs> we have six eight volt batteries. So it's a 48 volt system. Unbelievable. Um, it's a lot of batteries, good center of gravity uh, weight distribution right there For with sure. it right over the back axle but move forward. Uh, very cool. So uh, Vols Orange and now tell us about this one. This one we haven't heard or looked at too much. Yeah, so this one is just more of your, uh, it's obviously your standard height one. It's our four seater, so it's got the seat in the back. So there's, there's your difference between lifted and standard height right there. 
Exactly. You, and you, you can see kind of a difference, more aggressive tires. And, and you know, Coffee Day, that is a factory lift on there. So it's not some cheap aftermarket. That is a six inch factory lift. They do that in the factory. That's pretty cool. So on this one, obviously it's not lifted, but it's still got the same bells and whistles, blinkers, headlights, horn, you know, the whole street legal. Um, options on it. It's got the 1200 watt stereo and the underglow lighting as well. Mm -hmm. Now one of the big things we can see right here is that has a utility cart in the back right. that tilts and you can store whatever you need in there. Sure. But here we've got the seating option the where seat. you can carry more people around. Right. And if you want to actually haul something in it. So where are you guys at? Oh, sick. Put the bed, All right. seat over I... and then there you go. You got you got a little bed. Didn't know it could do that. Okay, so awesome. <laughs> so just highly versatile, uh, great if you live in a, in a golf cart uh, community or uh, I guess any community where you can drive around and you need something between a bike and a, uh, or a bicycle in an automobile. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so guys, I said a minute ago that we're going to do stuff a little differently today, and indeed we are. Um, Jeremy has been kind enough to let me drive this around today. So yeah. uh, gone are the days of huffing cars and coffee, <laughs> and I'm going to cruise around it. So here, here's what we're going to do. Don't want to be cruising around with this sharp edge around. <laughs> Jeremy, funny. now where can people learn about your product, get in contact with you, and otherwise buy one of these fine uh, customized carts from you? All right, so we're out of Jolton, Tennessee. Uh, best thing to do is get on our website, Heavenly Customs, that's customs with the K. We're trying to be a little different. Uh, HeavenlyCustoms.com. HeavenlyCustoms.com, and what's your phone number? Our phone number, okay. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I can pull it up for you real quick. Actually, um, it's on my business card. Yeah, why don't we grab one Let's of those? Let's grab one of those. All right, so here's the website. Very easy to see, heavenlycustoms.com. Jeremy's getting that phone number yep. for us right now. 615-431-9925. Awesome. All right, so there's the contact information for Heavenly Customs. Jeremy, thank you very much, thank you, sir. Thank you, Coffee Day. Appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to go cruise around awesome. and uh, Enjoy. see what kind of trouble I can not get into. There you go. So, over. so we're going to, okay, so I got a SRT8 down there. Do I want to play chicken with it? Probably not because he's going to win. He's going to win a couple times out of, oh. It's got a child's cut. There you go. You got to go in it. There you go. All right. Perfect. Thank you, you very much. You taking off on it. All right. So. Um, I feel like this is my first time driving a manual because it's like surge, 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 surge. Now this thing has regenerative braking and that's where a lot of this increased drag is coming from. And uh, you add to that the people that you have here and, and now we've got a somewhat complicated formula. So there's a Dodge Demon parking. Good looking Demon, waving good morning, hello in uh, all sorts of cool stuff here. So there's our buddies at TRSSCCA, the, uh, the local autocross um, and driving club. If you, guys, uh, if you guys live here in Middle Tennessee and you like to do off-road or not, not off-road, autocross, I would highly recommend you go check those guys out and learn what it is that they do. So yeah, the uh, so first impressions on the golf cart. It's uh, it's definitely different. I uh, have to say I kind of like it. It's kind of agreeable, but uh, I feel oh there's a 911 4S or Carrera 4S. Good looking car. Try not to shoot in the sun, Dave. Doesn't help anyone. So we are going to navigate quite carefully. Oh look at this. Look at this, okay. And then and then we just let loose. Wow, okay, so this thing actually will, will go rather quickly. He said 25 miles an hour, and uh, I believe that. I absolutely do believe that. Morning. Morning. So yeah, I'm digging this. All right, we're just, we're wide open throttle here. Oh, and look at this. I can just roll up on the dyno and the dyno is going. So, uh, Mary Ann Atkinson, where is it at to go? Um, if you're talking about our event, we're at 633 Fraser Drive. Uh, go ahead and jump on to 65 South. 
and use your steering wheel to select exit 68B. It'll take you uh, right to Cool Springs Boulevard and uh, So as I was saying, uh, Marianne, if you want uh, 65 and exit 68B, um, Cool Springs Boulevard, we're at 633 Fraser Drive. It's the AMC 20 movie theater uh, with the McDonald's right there on the corner. So it's really, it's really not too cold. We've got people out here that are enduring the elements just fine. Got Mule Town Mobile Dino here doing their thing. Uh, if you guys don't know about them, they're here every month. $75 for uh, your first three pulls, $50 for three runs after that if you do some mods. Super, super great value. I highly recommend it. Keith is a great dude, super knowledgeable. If you've never been on the dyno before, uh, he's really good at, at coaching people through their first time on a dyno, what to do, what not to do. And, uh, you know, it's a good overall experience. So um, we're going to hang out just for about 30 seconds, maybe 45 not sure if he's going to get another run on this, but uh, right, I need to make sure my parking brake is set. And then I need to, I want to go take a quick look at this, if we can, if we can see it. Uh, no. 258 and 241, not bad. Alright, so uh, got that right there. <laughs> All right, so, oh, we're going to do another one. We are going to continue on our way. Excuse me, sir. Uh, no, I'm with National Cars and Coffee. Oh, okay. All right. Warp speed. So I can cover just way more ground in less time here, which I'm really kind of digging. Which, I don't want to make this like a like a whirlwind, Cars and Coffee Dave's doing 200 miles an hour showing you glimpses of cars. But, you know, I almost think we can be a little more discriminating. We can see the cool stuff that I always seem to miss for one reason or the other. And uh, it, it, you think it wouldn't be like that, but literally every month, every month there's stuff I miss. So with this setup, I can just come and park, jump out, trip on my way, get over the curb, and uh, check out this E46 M3, because it is in a very nice color. Look at that. You could just go, you want to unwrap this color and eat it and taste the blueberry flavor. Look at that. And uh, I love the real subtle power bulge on the E46 M3 with the hiding an S54 under there. So yeah, I wonder how long it's going to take for me to forget my golf cart and the fact that I have a golf cart. Kind, I mean, I don't have a golf cart. I'm borrowing a golf cart for this event. But really guys, 17 different models. Ooh, look at that. Oh, and look at this. We've got new production options here. We can do the trail along. Just, it wasn't going into the sun, it would be that much better. All right, so we're gonna do a hard left here. Get rid of that sun action. Now don't forget guys, uh, this is still a live interactive show. I am Affect Your Avatar. So tell me where to go, what to see. 
Make requests. Requests are good. Ask me questions. Send me information. Tell me what to look for. There's a, there's a lot of cars out, as always. But uh, I am I'm attempting to make my way to what is colloquially known as Supercar Row. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put this golf cart in there because it is a supercar. All right, so I made it. All right, so I haven't been over here yet today. Um, honestly, I got here kind of late and uh, uh, got down here in a rush and started putting everything together. This is a uh, interesting looking GTR. Check out that diffuser. Obviously, the entire vehicle has been wrapped and or painted. Very cool color scheme. We got some wide body on there. Actually like some multi-stage wide body. Different panels. Obvi look how, how big is this wheel. Look how big this wheel is. There's tire. It's pretty big. All right, so what else we got here? Oh, here's a classic Ford. Still running. <laughs> dive, dive. Oh, and we're not going to walk in front of this because he'd win. gonna go but uh that's okay worst things have happened v10 r8 g55 g63 i don't know one of the two dodge viper Ooh. look at that i like that Well, uh, Kevin, you just saw a Ferrari drive by. Here's another Ferrari in frame. Uh, this is, I don't even know what this is, a GT2, GT3 RS. Came in GT4. Came in GT4. Yeah, there's another, uh, there's a lot of nice color blues around here. That's okay, Kevin. Um, they're, uh, you know, it, it's kind of, kind of cooler in the year. A lot of the exotic guys are more, uh, more summer based, summer orientated. And sure, you know, it's 55, 58, warming up on its way to the mid 60s. It's not horribly cold. Well, I know that guy. All right, so see, here it happened. I've done it. I forgot my golf cart. All right, something's making a lot of noise. <laughs> All right, so there's a Maserati rolling by. Not sure if you would qualify that as an exotic, semi-exotic, quasi-exotic. Okay, so he's just continuing to set off that alarm. That's okay. Okay. So. My golf cart is not going. What, 
What did I do? What, what did I do here? Come on. I broke it. I've, bro I've broken the golf cart. All right, well, that's interesting. This is gonna be fun to explain. Oh, now he said that there was some sort of lock on it and uh, I guess I forgot because because that thing is not backing up. All right, so bear with me, folks. Just one second. I've, uh, I've got to go fetch help to get my golf cart rolling. And that's because there's a lot more room here. Uh, it's easier for me to go. Hey, Jeremy, can you help me out, man? What'd you do? So this is part of the fun, part of the fun of doing stuff live and on the air is when you can't figure something out, the, you, there's no band-aids <laughs> just warts and all so uh what was that lock thingy that you were telling oh, me about oh okay so it has like this child locked out deal okay well that's so gonna where they that's can't gonna throw it straight in gear when you turn on the key you gotta cycle it through the gears and then go okay it's like a safety deal so your kid can't hop in put it in well if it's if it's designed to defeat children it's for sure gonna it's, defeat me there you go <laughs> so key on okay so cycle it in and out I usually go all the way forward and then back. You should be able to go now. There you go, buddy. Thank you, sir. You're quite welcome. I was, I was doing the key and oh, going up okay. and down. So yeah, and... when you have the key on, and you can just leave the key on if you want. Yeah, okay. That'll save you a little child-proofing right thank, there. Thank you very much, Not sir. No problem, man. Yeah. All right, so now we're reversing. Yeah, but it wasn't. I feel like a leper at a leper colony. Everyone's looking at me. They're like, what is that guy doing? All right, so people are no longer staring at me, which is great, because now I can drive around. Um, what do we want to see today, guys? Oh, and uh, hold on, I got some questions that I need to answer. Uh, Kevin, I promise you, I will try to find you every Lambo, Ferrari, Porsche, whatever I can find. Kendall Holt on a scale of all right to <laughs> how's the weather so it's it's okay it's we're mid 50s right now it's gonna be a high of 64 it's gonna be an awesome day get, get a whole bunch of America right there and that uh, excursion <laughs> nope all electric my friend all right so check this out we got a couple Porsche buddies all parking together which I like that Thank you. Uh, Rich Wine, Camaro's there. There, So we saw, I almost was hit by a ZL1 earlier, and that's while I was looking at another ZL1. So the ZL1s are out and about. There's that F-Type R. So a couple of the Cars and Coffee guys w went to the Blacktop Rally, and they had an F-Type R, and now they want to buy one. Um, so that was an amazing experience. In, uh, they made a couple little videos out of it. I don't know, maybe they'll share them. Maybe they won't. Maybe we'll put it in the vault. And you guys will never see it. There is a very clean looking 280Z right there. Ooh. Oh, a good looking Mustang. And then the Thunderbird. Good old Ford Thunderbird. Car's been in and out of production for like what 60 years or something 50 years <coughs> that's an older one from the 2000s but they started back in what the 50s or 60s and oh I'm gonna get a drive-by right there hello all right so oh there's a Mustang 2 I believe right yeah you never see those you never ever ever see those okay so here's here's the really fun part is now now do I take the golf cart into the crowd? Do I even dare do that? What do you guys think? You guys want to see me navigate in in the crowd? I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to go long and snake my way back. Here's a prowler. Don't see a lot of prowlers.
really, really cool. So it looks like a big turnout. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's normal. It's not insanely, it's not insanely ridiculous. Like some, like June, July, August, those were some crazy turnout months. But I am, I'm so grateful people are here despite the cold. You guys are great fans and, and you definitely make doing all this worthwhile. But uh, look at the interior here. I always forget that they've got a center mount speedometer. Actually, the whole gauge cluster is center mounted. But again, you don't see these very often. And it's good to see one here today. Got the uh, chrome coverings on the suspension bits. Looks delicious. And we go. Ooh. So look at this, look at this. Now you see a lot of these with the, uh, the yellow accents. It's cool to see one with red. You're more than welcome, Rich Wine. You are exactly why we do this. JT Blood, this is, uh, where is this being held? So, that is the AMC 20 Thoroughbred 20 Theater. I am in the parking lot of it, and so are all these fabulous cars. So if you want to come see these fabulous cars, jump in your car, jump on the 65, come down it south, select your steering wheel to 68B, Cool Springs, and we're at 633 Fraser Boulevard, Fraser Drive, I make that mistake every time. Uh, 633 Fraser Drive, and come say hello. Here's a really good looking vet on my left. Man. Gorgeous. All right, so what's going on? Is everyone having a good day? I hope you are having a good day. <laughs> so yeah, you know what? Now that I take a moment from not driving and uh, trying not to collide with people in automobiles, there are a lot of people here. And basically, as far as I can see, I see heads moving around, I see different cars. So much off-road stuff here. Unique off-road machines, FJs with camper slap slash uh, sleeper attachments. Uh, we see everything here. Ah, so there's another one of those Thunderbirds that we were talking about, but that is a uh, different iteration, different generation. Going very slow, just tiptoeing, tiptoeing. Ooh, what? Oh, the Jeepster. We've seen Jeepsters before. Do you guys know what a Jeepster is? It's kind of, uh, kind of in the vein as a uh, the VW thing. So, uh, I mean, so the thing was what '70s extreme off-road, lightweight, uh, inexpensive. I believe was the theme at the time. But uh, oh, excuse me, just running into people left and right today. I don't need a golf cart to do it. So can't really see in there too well, but still a very, very cool vehicle. All right, we continue. 
Alright, so we're going to do a flyby of Music City Miatas. These guys built, bring out so many cars every single month. Definitely our, one of our largest and most consistent contributors. We're going to see all the Miatas. We're going to see this one going by. What up? You can have. I think car storage slash. You can have any Miata you want, as long as it's an MX-5. Yeah. All right, so here's our uh, friends at Gypsy Crepe. Um, hello. These guys make some great food. If you're here in the area, you need a coffee, you need a uh, a little refreshment of some sort. I would highly recommend to you Gypsy Crepe. I like just straight cinnamon and butter, uh, but they've also got like a blueberry fruit concoction, and they've got a couple other things. Um, so this should be a, a Ford Cobra R, which is an extremely rare vehicle. Uh, you never see these anywhere for any reason, under any circumstance, for any reason. Little office humor there for those of you that picked that up. So simple, so fresh and so clean. Just look at that. No distractions, no confusion. Oh man, this thing smells so good. There's that side exhaust. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, there you go. And Cobra R wheels. Try to find some of those on eBay. Can't do that. But yeah, and then obviously, so the wheels, the wing, um, the side exhaust, there's, there's a couple other little styling cues that make this vehicle superbly recognizable on any street. Now, what's funny is it's next to a 94, 96 SS, which uh, a little before its time, but these cars are of the same era, you know? They're within a few years of each other, totally different concepts. Totally different number of doors, yet here they are, still in the same parking lot next to each other. Got the floor shifter, so I believe that's a 96. Got our friends over at German Motor Works hanging out over there. I, uh, I haven't seen or said hello to German in a minute. But I think you, would, you guys would enjoy seeing what they've brought this month. Definitely, uh, Hal, Hal Bruin, we miss you. Sorry you couldn't make it out, Hal. It's a short winter. We'll get through it soon. Uh, Kurt, cool Cobra R, I concur, sir. Rich Wine, spoiler alert, that's funny. Uh, all right, so, what is this? An M4 and a M5 next to each other. All right, so there's there's GermanMotorWorksNashville.com. There's their phone number. There's their tent. They got shirts. They've got their all their vehicles that they drive. Most of them are BMW mechanics at one point or another, and uh, they do great work. So uh, go check out German MotorWorks if you guys need some maintenance done on your high-performance Euro. I know there's a lot of them in this town. Oh, and here's something that we never get to see on Cars and Coffee. This is a green cherry picking uh, ladder automatic moving apparatus. And uh, you can only get them from Sunbelt Re Rentals. This is a 2016. It's got the limited edition uh, 17 inch wheels, uh, eight bolt pattern. Uh, you can't get those anywhere else. Matter of fact, this car is only at Cars and Coffee. And all right, I'm done doing that. All right, where to now? Excuse me, gentlemen. It's cream colored Mustang. Man, 
been really nice. I'm going to uh, stop. So yeah, this is, I guess, part of the reality of having a golf cart is that we do see so many awesome cars all the time. I'm going to be stopping and starting constantly, but that's okay. I will take the exercise any way I can get it. Rich Wine, yeah, you're right, man. This 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 event has grown tremendously over the last few years. Um, we hope to just keep it going and keep it growing. What is that? So there's some sort of aggressive SUV with police lights on it. I heard a police siren moments ago, but I wasn't sure what it was. No, I know. So I gotta admit, this is actually working out okay. Uh, it's really not as hard as I thought it would be to steer, drive, communicate, navigate, uh, and cars and coffee eight. Ooh, I like that green color. Oh, but wow, okay, so across from this green color is this. Look at that. Beautiful turquoise colored Bel Air. Interior carries the theme over. Teal with white trim. Man, looks like it was made yesterday. Crazy to see that. So it will be interesting to see in the post-game wrap-up what uh, what this looks like with all the transitions, because I'm gonna have a feeling that there's a lot of transitions going around. I know I'm losing the frame simply because I'm trying not to trip and fall. Believe me, I'm very good at doing that. Oh, here's something cool. All right, so we like to, uh, can I get out of the way here? We like to do uh, themed, things every now and then. Alright, so that SS is leaving, but this is the SS that I was actually interested in. So, we've got a Titan Mobile here. Check out the, uh, the eyes. I like that. That's actually, that drew my attention, and then I saw these LEDs down here. And I was like, hey, So that's cool. You can, do, uh, you can do a lot of stuff with the theme car. Your graphics options are relatively endless. But, okay, so here we are. So there's a ridiculously clean E24. What up, E24? Next to a GTR, next to a Bel Air, next to a motorcycle. So you never know what you're going to get. So I should decide, am I a vehicle or am I a pedestrian? I think, I mean, I'm a vehicle when I'm in here and I'm a pedestrian when I'm not. But I kind of just, I want like pedestrian privilege all the time, you know, it's like, it's like the little boat gets out of the way of the big boat, or is it, is it the big boat gets out of the way of the little boat? No, the little boat gets out of the way of the big boat, right? Yeah, that's it. Because the big boat takes longer to turn, that's the whole point, is the more maneuverable craft is the one that has the responsibility to get out of the way. What am I talking about? I don't even know.
So good, good collection of classics today. Um, we've seen a couple Camaros. I just showed you that that uh, themed Camaro. We saw a couple uh, ZL1s, one LEs, and uh, someone was asking for a Camaro. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the Camaros off the list. Say so we've done a good job of representing Camaros today. So it's funny. So right here in this this frame that I'm looking at, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven Porsches in one frame. Just, just from what I can see. Wait, eleven, twelve, thirteen, Thir fourteen, fourteen Porsches in one frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and check Porsche off the list today. We've seen a lot of Porsches. Porsches be gone. Oh, and then there's another one right here. All right, I am going to take a moment for Dave. Gonna enjoy my Starbucks coffee, or ha, McDonald's coffee, not Starbucks. As you can see, I can't even read the brand of the coffee that I'm currently drinking, so I need a little, need a little pick-me-up. All right, and we are topped off. All right, so that 370Z right there, we've seen a whole bunch of. That is from uh, Titan Motoring. It's their demo car. They've got an absolute amazing portfolio of work that they do, and this vehicle is basically a demonstrator of it. Uh, it's got some really awesome, well, I can't help it. I'm from Missouri, the show me state. I gotta show you. I can't just tell you about it, I gotta show you. So check this out, this this headliner uh, has got your universe star pattern going on in there. Different colors, um, totally different LEDs controlling different things. We've got a custom um, touchscreen entertainment system, carbon fiber uh, accents all the way around, carbon fiber steering wheel. We've got this wrap on the outside, two 12s in the back, and um, yeah, it's just definitely a very unique vehicle from Titan Motoring. Oh, that's funny. So we saw the uh, the Volunteers orange custom golf cart. Looks like we got the same thing going on with this VW Bug. Now, the wheelbase is going to be close here. <laughs> I mean, this can only be like a foot, foot and a half longer than what I'm rolling in. So that's mine. Okay, so yeah, it's like two feet longer. Definitely bigger. But still, enjoy this custom paint job. Bug Tennessee. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Then there's the front of that 370. Still in supercharger, trick headlights, all that good stuff. All right, so back in the golf cart we go. All right, so there's some sort of weird police car thingy down here, and uh, we're going to take a look at it and see what it is. Now, I wonder if uh, Phil is going to be here. All right, find Phil. So in, in between me uh, finding Phil, there's there's a lot of uh, a lot of things to turn on that wheel. Not sure that they are all real. What is going on? <laughs> Alright, so sorry about the sun affecting the vision. Totally killed the clarity there. But I, uh, I really don't know what this is.
So yeah, I, uh, oh man, I know people from here. I should be able to talk to someone. Well, all right, so we're just gonna go ahead. So these doors are just unbelievably heavy. Uh, so this is for sure some sort of bulletproof vehicle. Uh, I'm waiting for this guy to come out so I can ambush him with questions. But let's take a look inside since we... Lots of room in here. This is a lot. You've got a place that you can come out. Guns blazing, I guess. So uh, that's interesting. Cool. So it's a turret mount for a 50 cal. But, uh, so do you know what this is? This is yours. That is, thank you. So I was looking for Phil and I was like, can he tell me something? I'm Carson Coffee Dave. I'm with, Na I'm Nashville Carson Coffee. I'm the store manager at Titan Motoring. Awesome, cool. I'm surprised Surprised I haven't met you before. I always, um, I stay hidden. You stay hidden? Yeah. That's, so that's I, I okay. I stay hidden. Well, what is this? What are we looking at here? This is a 2013 Teradyne Gurkha. Okay. So the company builds military vehicles, uh, then they build a couple military grade vehicles for civilian use. Okay. There's not really a whole lot of need for this except for if you just want a really big badass toy. Yeah. So, um, it's obviously very tactical inside, so it's designed pretty much for one use, so it's not really a creature comfort vehicle. Uh, it'll take 762 rounds to the outside all day, so it's... Uh, well, these doors these are doors. super thick, super heavy. How much does one door weigh? Uh, I'm not sure how much one door weighs, but the truck itself weighs 15,000 pounds. Wow. So it's built on a Ford F550 chassis. So same uh, drivetrain and everything, and then the frames reinforced, rear ends rebuilt, and uh, it's pretty much exactly what it looks like. Something you could drive through a building with for fun. Yeah, man. Uh, this so. this qualifies as a bug out vehicle quite well. All day. Um, All day. So. so this is your personal vehicle? No, no, no. This is one of our clients. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're building it for a client. I got. And so. the client's law enforcement? No. Oh. Nope. Okay. Just, just a guy that likes to have a big truck. Well, so well, he's we, gonna uh, check that box too. We're building. He, he just wants it a little more comfortable. So we're doing <laughs> seats. We're doing stereo. We're doing some trim panel stuff just to make it a little more, more creature comfort inside and not like just a gi giant steel box. Well, I saw the interior that you guys did about a month ago on a black G55 yep. uh, that wanted that with a yep. diamond pattern. Yep. So yeah, that that that, that so, in that in here would look very good. So that's uh, what we're doing on the front seats. Yeah. And then the rear seats are gonna get stitched with a similar pattern. That's awesome. So yeah, it's gonna get black with black suede inserts on the seats with a diamond stitch. Well, okay, so it's a 550 platform that's been totally customized, reinforced, right. rebuilt, and then right. they Teradyne puts this custom body on top right. of it. Yeah, it's a one-piece unibody, all steel welded. So they put that whole body on there, but they have to reinforce the frame, the drivetrain, everything. So, but they start with an F550 chassis. What kind of engine are we dealing with? Same motor out of the F550. Okay, is it 6.8 liter turbo diesel? I or? think so. Okay, I'm not 100%, but I'm fairly certain it's a 6.8 turbo diesel. Yeah. So. Well, awesome, man. I'm really, I'm grateful that you were yep. here to talk to me and Absolutely, fill us all man. in. Thank you very much. And Absolutely. I'm sure I'll see you down there at Titan Motoring sometimes. Always. Okay, well, um, all right. I just saw the uh, camera go out of focus again, and that's really starting to bug me because I don't know why. Hold on a second, folks. Okay, so I had to clean off that lens. The lens is clean and... Uh, so there's a look at that Teradyne, uh, formerly F550, that's been converted to a, uh, man, like a super bug out vehicle. So he told us that you can mount a 50 caliber machine gun up here if you like to do those things. Uh, it's, it's resistant to 7.62. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll go above that, but probably a little bit. Um, so wow, you really, really never know what you're gonna see at Cars and Coffee. That's why I love doing this is you learn something new every day. And I know I just learned a lot right there. All right. All right, guys. 
So I got a golf cart, which means I can be anywhere I want at any time I want. I almost have a time machine. Alright, so I don't think... Have a happy day! Alright, a couple psychotic loons. Uh. Alright, so did we see this? 240? I think this is a 240. Now this is just such a slick car. It's hard not to uh, come and look at it every time I see it. Gorgeous. So you guys have been kind of quiet today. Uh, I guess you all were out partying last night and are a little, little under the weather today. Not asking questions, not asking me to do stuff. That's okay. Because the AAA live stream is here whether you want it or not. And, ooh, this. Man, blue with red accents, huh? That's a bold option. And that reminds me of Richard Petty back in like the 80s or 90s when he had uh, his STP car. Because those are just very, very classic. I don't know, it just makes me think of Richard Petty with that, with that color scheme. <coughs> no shortage of cars out here today. Ooh, I like. Alright, well who wants to see if we got something going on at the dyno again? I think I might. And, uh, ooh, that's interesting. A little Punisher logo on that C7. Never know what you're going to see. Ray, the first one you've missed in six months, huh? Well, that's a very good attendance record. You get a gold star just for six months of perfect attendance, my friend. That is what you get. JT Blood, how long is it going today? You're 20 minutes away. If you left right now, you would still have people when you got here, JT. Uh, it is, it's still relatively early. I don't, I'm not yet getting that sensation that comes throughout the air. You can feel it when people start to leave. Uh, it's like static electricity building up in the air, but I don't think we're there yet. And yeah, get that speed. So I'm digging the regenerative braking on here. And is that a Corvette? That, yes, it is a Corvette. Uh, I thought it was like a Stingray, but I'll take a third or fourth generation too. So. I wore suit. All right, we're gonna go straight to the VIP seats for this one. Brooks, yeah, I think we might do that.
Well, they are figuring some stuff out there. So they're trying to figure out how to lock their gears, trying to get that one-to-one -one drive ratio. Oh, what the heck is that? Something was loud over there. Excuse me? Ready for some race car? So what's the deal with this? I um uh, I won the 944 Cup National Championship last weekend in Daytona. Well, congratulations so, to you, sir. Thank you. I I have been working for it for a few years, and um, and we were lucky enough to take the championship last weekend. So. So do you live here? I do. I live in Brentwood. Awesome, welcome home. Oh, um, where was the where's the race held? Daytona. Daytona, that's right. Yeah. That's why I was saying talking about distance. <laughs> um, mind if we tell us about your 944? Um, so I've been running 944s for about 10 years, and I built this car four years ago for a vintage event in Indianapolis. So we ran Indianapolis with it, and I run with the Porsche Club of America. Okay. And so I also work for the Porsche Club of America as a volunteer. But um, so I, uh, I raced uh, six races this year. We started in Sebring and I dominated Sebring, set a track record, uh, did another track record at Barber um, and we ran road Atlanta and then NOLA and Daytona. And so we had, a, we had a good season, a great season. And I don't normally bring it out to Cars and Coffee, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to show off the trophies. I don't get a lot of hardware, so I thought it'd be fun to bring it out and it's so much fun you know these young kids are coming over because they're working on 944s and I love seeing a 19 20 21 year old working on a car that's 30 years old yeah and, older and than excited him. and they come over and want to you know and so that to me is cool to be able to keep the lineage of the 944 alive so. absolutely absolutely um it's not all about the 928s right no or the 911s it's <laughs> yeah. always the 911 the 911s but the 944 is a great race chassis, um, but it's also a good, you know, just a good first car yeah. for a lot of kids because they're built like a tank and their parts are accessible and things. But uh, kind of forgiving on the handling front. Oh yeah, we'll, yeah. It, we'll talk to you before it says goodbye. Exactly, about two corners before. It's gonna, <laughs> when it's going to step out, it'll tell you. Well, uh, thank you very much for bringing this out. I'm going to just take a quick, quick look around. So this is 24-hour racing that you're doing, it, or no, this was. Uh, our sprint races, we have three races a weekend, and it typically it's kind of a mess. I didn't think somebody was going to videotape it. Sorry. Oh, and you're, we're, we're live, my friend. We are live on Facebook. There's no okay. there's no editing here. Well, hey, everybody on Facebook. Um, uh, yeah, we run uh, three races a weekend, typically two 45-minute races, and then a, a two-hour enduro. And so we won all the races, um, obviously. Um, I ran out of gas on the two-hour enduro <laughs> and because uh, I calculated wrong and I puttered across the line and uh, fortunately I lapped one guy because he got lapped back but uh, we went across the line on fumes I, could, I didn't even have enough gas to get it on the trailer so we were pretty lucky there so so I got a question for you if, sure. if somebody wants to get involved in this kind of racing where, where can they go to learn more information and and so, join the process. So the Porsche Club of America, the BMW Car, Car Club of America, all have really good high performance driving event programs. 
um, and you get to, you can drive any street car you have, no SUVs typically, um, but you, you get involved by starting out doing an HPDE. You'll be given an instructor, I also instruct, and so you're given an instructor, they'll ride side seat with you, they'll teach you line, braking, etiquette on track, what you need to pay attention to, flags and things like that. And they do it in a safe environment that you're not going to get hurt in, your exactly. car's not going to get hurt in, yeah, and it's, it's controlled. If I'm, if I'm riding beside you, the last thing I want you to do is stuff it in a wall. Yeah. I don't want to get hurt, you don't want to get hurt. So we're, we're protecting you and your car. Um, you don't have to have special tires. We just want to make sure your car's safe, so you, you you're inspected to make sure the car's good. You're not leaking oil, and you're not exactly. going to contaminate the track to, exactly. for everybody else. And then um, and then you run. Uh, if you want to get into wheel to wheel racing, you'll do eight or ten events, and 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 then if you do it with the Porsche Club of America, they'll they'll do a ride along, and they'll have you go out and they'll test your yep. driving skills basically. Mm -hmm. And they'll say, okay, we want you to have a driver's license, a, dr a racing competitive license. And you get a license, you do a rookie race weekend, you have a mentor that helps you that race weekend. It's a great program, it's a great process. Uh, the BMWs have a great racing school that you go through. NASA has a really good racing school as well. And uh, it's a great way to get started. It's not, it's not inexpensive, but to, to get in on the entry level, you can buy a car for six to eight thousand um, dollars. That's, I mean, this car I probably have twelve in, um, but it's, you know, it's it's a national winning car. You can build one for half that, um, and then you know it's just having tires and fuel and 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 learning. So that's awesome. Well, hey, what was your name? Brent. 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 Yeah. I'm Dick. Cars and Coffee, Dave. Absolute pleasure. Thank you, Thank you so much for for bringing this out and. Sure. Uh, and showing this to everybody. Um, like you said, the more people that we can get involved in maintaining these old cars and being a part of, of uh, the racing culture, whether it's autocross, on the track, at the drag strip, it's just better for all of us. So Absolutely. thanks again for coming out and we'll all see right. you next time. All right, see ya. Oh, all right, so we gotta do our safety thing here. We cycle through the gears, all right. All right, well, hey, the more you know, Am I right or am I right? So yeah, some great information there. Uh, TRSCCA is also another great source if you guys are looking for some... Uh, look at this. Look at that. I think they intentionally parked next to each other. Got the dark side and the light side. Are you Empire or Rebellion? Star Wars, Star Trek. I don't know. Stop with the sci fi references. So, yeah, I I'm digging having a golf cart now. It is uh, it's a game changer, changes your reality. And, all right, what's over here? Anything cool. Oh, hello, big SUV. A couple guys chilling in their Range Rover. All right, so I think we've uh, done a pretty good job today, people. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna fight my way through Supercar Row, see what has showed up, what's new. And uh, I don't know, I might be done. What do you guys want me to do? This this is all for you. This is not for me, this is for you. So what do you guys want? Do you want to see more cars? Do you want to see something else in the dyno? You want to give me a specific car or car club to go look for? So Music City Mustang Club is right in front of us. We could just follow that guy back to his Mustangs. Uh, so I don't really see anything new here. And there's a Tesla. But that's not that crazy. So that's the GT4. And then this 370Z, the reason it's here is because it's got a trick paint job. Now, in, in zero light, uh, you can't really see it, and I'm not even sure if you can see it here. But uh, it's got a lot of flake in it, and a lot of... Uh, it is just 
it's super, super glittery. But then, so it's super, super glittery, but then you go behind a cloud, or the sun goes behind a cloud, and it just, it changes to just like a flat blue. All the sparkles are gone, all the, uh, oh, there's, there's the guy that owns the car right there. All right. Daniel, my friend, how are you doing? Doing good, man. Good to see you. Good buddy. to see you, too. Um, so tell us about your 370Z. Well, uh, it was initially pearl white, then someone decided to uh, vandalize it a little bit. Those so bastards. I took it up to uh, Easy's Repair to AZ, and he, uh, he mixed together this blue, you know, this prism metallic blue that's kind of crazy. There's not another one out there like it. Well, it, it's, it's so not only does it have this flake through it, but it's got multiple color, colors of blue on oh, the body, yeah. right? Absolutely. So I saw this car in Georgia for the first time when yeah. we were down there, and it was a cloudy day, kind of a chiascuro of light, light and dark coming through, you know? Yeah. And that was, that was really a great experience with it because on the highway in real time, I could see it get all glittery and, and awesome, and then it just goes to like a flat, flat yeah. blue. Uh, like when, you mean it almost changes colors. It does. <laughs> it's it crazy. does. And it's, it's a really cool... I, I, you know what? I can't guarantee that the camera picks it up, but I oh, hope no. it does. It's, it never does it justice. No, it, it doesn't. And uh, you got to be here in person uh, at Nashville Cars and Coffee to see a cool car like this. Don't forget, guys, we're not done yet. You still have time. We're at 633 Fraser Drive. Uh, it's really not that uh, late in the day already. Uh, it's about 60 degrees right now. So you still have time. The weather's good. Come on down and uh, join the Cars and Coffee fun. It's okay, Dave. Daniel? I'm out, dude. Thank Good you very much, you, sir. All right, and uh, I believe I was just hijacked. What's happening, man? Um, oh, so I I abandoned my vehicle in a place I should not have abandoned my vehicle. <laughs> Thank you for retrieving it. Yeah, no problem, Dave. My bad. This is, so, going? This is your world. Uh, just I was just wrapping up right now. Okay. So. You have a really big smile on your face. I do. What's up? You been driving this thing? Have fun. Man, this thing goes. It's got some. Fast, it's right? got some torque to it. All right. Enjoy. Don't watch the video later. Whatever you do. <laughs> All right. So we. Uh, he's right. I am absolutely loving this golf cart. Uh, the golf cart is. I didn't think I was going to have this much fun in it, but it is a lot of fun. Good morning. And so you know what guys, we, we've been around the block a couple times, we've seen the dyno, uh, we've seen our vendors, and uh, I'm starting to get that feeling in the air that things are starting to die down. But uh, I really appreciate everyone joining us today. Uh, it's, it's been a great turnout, the weather ended up cooperating with us, which is wonderful. We couldn't appreciate it more weather. So uh, let's see, the next event will be the first Saturday of December. I'd have to get a calendar out to see what exactly that's going to be. And uh, shame on me for not having done that already. But uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, we're going to go out on this beautiful red hot rod right here. I'm Cars and Coffee Day for Nashville Cars and Coffee. Thank you for watching the AAA live stream. We'll be with you again next week or next month. And uh, we'll have, as always, our little vignettes that we do on our vendors and uh, automotive, automotive events in the Middle Tennessee area. You guys have a great weekend, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.